Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this cute surf card using the Beach Day bundle of products that can be found in our 2024 annual catalog. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how to get started. I'm going to start with my surfboards here and the stamping, and I'm going to pick up the surfboard and stamp it onto my Daffodil Delight using the Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to clean that and stamp another one in the Granny Apple and very versed, and I can set that aside for die cutting. I'm going to bring my sentiment panel in here, and I'm going to stamp on the bottom if you want to take your designer series paper and lay it there so that you have an idea of where you want to stamp, you can do so. But I'm simply going to run it along the bottom. That's a little crooked, so let's turn it over and stamp again. I love the fact we can do that with our cardstock. It's nice and thick so things don't show through. And then I'm going to bring in my inside signature panel and my little chair, and I'm going to stamp that little sling black chair in the corner. So let me die cut those pieces and we'll assemble the project. Okay, to assemble the card, I'm going to take my card base here and fold it on the score line. And then I'm going to bring in my cardstock panel and adhere that down in the center and I'm going to bring in my sentiment panel and I'm going to adhere that down next I'm going to bring in my designer series paper and I thought this had a Hawaiian feel to it and I'm going to lay them in order And adhere. Now I like to start in the center because then I can adjust my margins appropriately. If I am slightly off, you can use your grid paper if you'd like to do this. And the multi-purpose glue allows me to shift a little bit once I have the panel in place before I burnish, which is why I like to use it for this kind of thing. I'm going to adhere these down left and right. There we go, and next I'm going to bring in my little surfboards. Now you can decide what order you want these in based on the colors. Um, and you can decide if you want them straight and linear looking because of the straight lines, or you could even tilt them if you wanted to. But I'm going to flip these over and add stamp and dimensionals to the back. Flip them over once the backs are removed and adhere down. And this kind of has a, a built-in line, so I can use that to decide where I'm going to put the height and have consistency across the designer series paper. That's just a little tip if you use one of these little lines. Now that I have that done, I can either stamp my sentiment and adhere it on the inside or simply place it inside for when I'm ready to send. And last, I want a little bit of bling, so I'm going to bring in these beautiful rainbow adhesive back dots. They come in all kinds of colors, and they happen to have the same azure here and lemon lolly, so I could use either. I'm going to pick up the azure dot here and place one on each end of my sentiment. Like so. And I can take even a few of these little ones and scatter them on the designer series paper just randomly. Just for a little pop of shine on the card. So there you go, a quick and easy card using the Beach Day stamp set and dies. And of course, if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Jenny. Thanks for joining me.